Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. We're about to get nasty. For some reason, the video that I posted about what is their sexual energy has been my best performing video so far. That's easy to do considering I'm very new here, but I was really excited about it. It got me a couple more subscribers, which is awesome. You guys, thank you so much if you have subscribed. It means so much to me. I started this from absolute scratch, didn't know what the hell I was doing, and 50 of you clicked that button and were like, I wanna see her again. And that means so much to me. And if you are new here, please feel free to subscribe because I am so excited about where this channel is gonna go and grow. And please leave a comment. Let me know what pile you picked. I wanna talk, I wanna talk about stuff. So here's the cards. Oh shit. Today we are going to talk about what are they like in bed? So this can be specific to somebody that you're trying to bone or want to bone or don't want to bone but you're just nosy as hell so here we go okay so clear your mind let your intuition pick this is one two three four five and six and when you are ready just click your timestamp below in the description and we will get started number one what is this person that you're thinking about like in bed six i am not ready for these six of cups Oh, the hermit. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nine of swords. <laughs> the tower. Okay, this person is like hella aggressive, but also a little bit creepy. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if you're into that. <laughs> but, all right. Creepy isn't, eh, just give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, formulate the message the right way here so don't fuck up my words the whole time well you guys are dealing with a bunch of christian gray motherfuckers or whoever it is from 50 shades of gray okay so they like to be the dominant one for sure uh and the more you resist it or the more okay let me put it this way i don't think that this person necessarily likes to sleep with people that are down for it from the get-go i think they like a little bit of a challenge um consensual challenge i'm not getting any rapey vibes which is good but they don't want someone who's like yeah fucking tie me up beat me <laughs> like they don't they're not into that they want someone who's like ah i don't know will it hurt will i like it i just don't know oh my god okay i'll try it that's what they're after and it's like the more resistance there is the more this person gets off on it and we have the tower here too where it's just like mm. <laughs> like this person wants total control of you and again this is that card that tells us that they like the fact that you maybe wouldn't be so into it but i think they're good at their craft because this card is all about euphoria so if you drop into your heart <laughs> which is another card that we got. So if you're open to the experience, like once you're not, and then you are, that's where we wanna be. That's the sweet spot between, oh, I don't know, and okay, I'll try it. Because if you allow yourself to release and experience it, I think you're gonna have a good time. I feel like this person is very respectful about it. Um, and if you look here, there's always people in the background. <laughs> So I feel like he's also a bit of, uh, what is it, voyeuristic or exhibitionist? Probably though. Hell, this guy's all over the place. He likes to just have a good time. But yeah, that is what this person is like in bed. Now I could also see that maybe he's less than forthcoming with this. With this card, he might be coming in hot like, Argh. but what the fuck was that going? But with the Hermit card, I feel like it might shock you. I feel like maybe they don't um, lead with it. You know what I mean? Obviously, that could scare someone away. And again, it's like they don't want to scare you. Because they like that, oh, I'm just not so sure about it. So that is what this person is like in bed. If this did not resonate with you at all, please feel free to pick another number. Or if you just want to be nosy as shit, go think of somebody and pick another number. Because let me tell you, I did that the other day with the pick a card reading and was thinking about people like my sixth grade science professor, or I guess teacher, and had me a good laugh. I don't know, is that morally wrong? I don't give a fuck. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. 
please check me out in the next one. And as always, it was a pleasure to read your cards and thank you so much. I am jacked up on coffee, dude. Group number two. Let's see what your person is like in bed. Oh, okay. So we have the hanged man. We have Ace of Pentacles. Oh wait, let me show you these because they're juicy. Hanged man, Ace of Pentacles. There we go. Five of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Mm, okay. Guardian of the Soul Family. So give me just a second. I'm going to formulate what the hell all this means. Really quickly before this message evades me that's coming through. Um, if you are wanting to know about this person because you like this person or you think this person likes you. If you're looking at this other than like a nosy standpoint and like you're genuinely like you're talking to this person or something. Um, I think you guys were friends and you might be moving into something else or I think that they saw you platonically and they could be moving into something else. But regardless, I think the flat line or the baseline uh, friendship or platonicness is still going to be there. Um, and I really think if, if you're just being nosy, then I guess you can go ahead and still listen to the message. Or if this doesn't resonate with you this part, you can still listen to the message. Um, if not, feel free to pick a different number because I feel like this is very specific to people who are talking with someone that they have not explored this arena with yet. I feel like it's definitely a friendship slash relationship kind of vibe going on here. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so with all of that being said and the disclaimer out there, this is so juicy because they, first of all, respect you. And what's crazy is that this couple is the same in every single one of these cards. I just noticed that. There's different couples on all of these cards, but you guys got the same couple. So that's another thing that makes me feel like it is... Um, it, it's a friendship that's evolving into something and definitely the potential for a couple being here. So because there's so much adoration and respect for you and the friendship, I think that it's going to be kind of in, almost impossible for you guys to get kinky at first, but it'll be kinky in its own way. Like in this five of swords here, they're just, I think like friends hanging out and then it leads to something and somewhere where they're not supposed to be. It looks to me like they're like at a party or something and they start fucking around like in the coat closet or something. <laughs> and every single one of these has an interpretation that's very similar to completeness. Like this is all about it being a mind, body, and soul connection. So <laughs> I know that you clicked on this to get freaky, but honestly, this is so much deeper than that. This person doesn't see sex as just sex. As a matter of fact, I don't think they could split it if they wanted to, especially with this guardian of the soul family here. This is a soulmate connection. And, um, or when this person has sex with someone, they, they do it in a soul way. And now I'm not saying this person hasn't sowed a wild oat here and there, they probably have, but, when they're letting the sex affect them, they have to have this connection with somebody. And so that makes it an entire experience. They see it as not just getting your rocks off or their rocks off. They see it as a whole ass experience and it's sweet and tender, but also playful. So it's not boring. I don't think they just want to do missionary. I mean, as a matter of fact, she's got her hands tied up here. So there is... It just seems really, really well-rounded. It seems like it would be a good, this person would be a good partner to have a sex life with because it's just all over the place. We have the playfulness, we have the absolute freedom of inhibitions, lots of liberation here. And then we have, you know, the cuddling here. And then we also have just the sweet little, I mean, they're not even really having sex. He's just sort of enjoying her. And I feel like this is the kind of person who Okay, I feel like surely most of you know what I'm getting ready to talk about. There are dudes who, or girls, who kiss you and you can tell that they're kissing you to get to the next step in the evening. Ugh. And then there's some people who kiss you and they are totally there for it. In the kiss, in the moment with you, they don't plan on doing anything else. I mean, maybe, but that's not why they're kissing you. This is the kind of person that you've gotten a hold of in this group and it's an excellent person. You want the dude who likes to kiss you because he likes to kiss you, especially if there are feelings brewing here. So 
that is all that I have for this group. If this did not resonate with you at all, again, please pick another number. As always, it was a pleasure to read your cards and thank you so, so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you in the next week. Let's see what sex with your person is like. We have Six of Swords, Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. Okay. Oh, also the Pearl Threaded. So give me just a second. I'm going to see kind of like what the whole last message is here and I'll be right back. Okay, this person is coming in with some hot energy, you guys. So, first thing to know about this person is they get bored very, very easily. And when they get bored, they're done. They will ghost your ass. They're not going to talk to you. And they're going to be almost cold about it if you do not satisfy them in bed. Um, to the point where, I don't know if you can see the reflection of this man. This is her king, okay? And she sent him away because he was shitty at sex. So this person can be in love with someone. And if the sex life is not good, at the expense of their own heart, they will be like, no, fuck you. And be rude about it. And that's backed up by this card because temperance in this deck is all about discontent. So when these come out together, it tells me that they get bored easily. And once they're bored, they're, they're not playing any games. They're all done. However, when you do have sex with this person, um, they, I mean, they just need a good roll around the streets. Streets, I mean, shit, maybe, I meant sheets. But this card is all about just like a complete abandonment of everything else that you're doing and just rolling around in the grass and getting hot and heavy and really so is this card. This card is also about ecstasy. So it's like, if this person's not coming, you're going. And quickly. This card is all about needing to go to the point of being tired. Also, if you are asking this about a woman and you're a man, if you're a minute man, good luck because she needs to go all night till she's tired. If this is a man, he, I feel like would have a hard time coming uh, in the first place because of all the cards that are here. I feel like they're fed up with people who can't keep up with them in bed. So just keep that in mind. Now I do want to get clarification on something because I pulled a card called the pearl threaded and I'm not sure where this fits in here. Why do we have the pearl threaded in this group? Because the pearl threaded is typically about like, you know, a soulmate connection and not being able to break free or not wanting to break free because you're just so connected. But I, so I'm just not sure why is the pearl threaded here? Maybe it's saying that like, that's the only person that's gonna be able to satisfy them is the person that's meant for them. Oh, okay. Princess of Swords. I feel like that's just more on their energy because, all right, a couple different ones came out. All right, we have Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Strength, Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords is just like a very lively girl strength. You're gonna need something to keep up with this person. Six of Cups is all about like a, oh, woe is me, no one's good enough. I'm not paying attention to this because I'm missing that. Uh, five of Cups, mm, what the hell? Five of Cups is more like setback and disappointment. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like <sighs> there's a very specific person that's going to be able to do what this person needs them to do for them. And if you're not it, it's like they're constantly searching and almost to the point where they could be even missing what's right in front of their faces. That's interesting. I was just trying to get dirty today and then this wanted to come out. So I don't know if you're asking about a specific person. It's just like they can't get satisfied. No, they just cannot. They, I'm telling you, man, this, this person has a problem with completion. Be it a man or a woman. 
and that can be very exhausting for their partners and the other person has no patience and it's almost like they don't want to say hey if you do this that feels really good they're just like ah and then they get all pissed off and they just send the person away I can't help you anymore with this person, with this reading. So if this is someone that you're really close to in life, please come back. Uh, maybe I'll do, what the fuck? Maybe I'll do another one, like how to please your partner in bed or something. Uh, so stay tuned because as it stands, it just looks like this person's really hard to satisfy and they get really mad when someone can't do it. If this did not resonate with you at all, please feel free to pick another number. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and it was a pleasure to read your cards. Group number four. Let's see what the sex life with your person would be. Six of pentacles, two of cups, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, sorry, Knight of Cups. No way. What? Knave of Cups and Knight of Cups. So, let's see. Oh, also Hidden Beauty. So, we're going to figure out what is going on here. <sighs> Putting it in the nicest way I can possibly muster. This person is traditional um because nothing really came out about what they're like in bed except for one card so i guess they're very involved in the experience i will give them that but they're very traditional in the sense that like they're very jealous and they want you to keep your goodies to yourself and keep them for him. And if you don't abide by those rules, look at his fucking attitude problem. Do you see? He's pitching a goddamn fit. And I mean, to be fair, there's like, I think they're fucking on the balcony and he's just in there trying to like write. <laughs> but yeah. Um, if you like that, because there are women who do, there are many different types of women and many different types of men. If you want safety and security with no freedom whatsoever, there you go. You got your man um, because he will be very involved with you as long as you are continuously feeding his sense of security. And let me tell you, when a man is hungry for security, mm, you'd be hard pressed to find something that can fix that hunger. It's almost, I mean, I don't know. There's some weird energy coming off this card. And not only, not only does this fucker have the audacity to feel like you should keep yourself for him, he gets bored easy. So where does that leave you? I don't know. You know what? Ew. Let's get some more. What else can we learn about group fours person and it's like oh, this person's just so weird because they they like they want to come in and admire your body and they're like pretty charming and they have a lot to offer you but you are theirs and again I mean some people like that and some people need that and some people want that and if that's the case, I'm so excited because you found somebody who will give you all that you need. But if you are about to walk in a situation where you know that you cannot abide by someone's rules, then you need to get out while you can before you have sex with this person because we saw the fit he can pitch. I think that this person is capable of being really, really sweet and very loving and very protective and very caring and very charming but only if you're abiding by his laws and only like if you walk he's the kind of dude that would stop you from walking out of the house with a low cut top on um okay let's see if there's anything that we can get on this guy group number four person Group number four's person. Anything else on group number four's person? 
it usually takes a little bit longer to get some cards to come out after I've played with the deck because there's so many cards missing from it. I don't know. I think that that might just be it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good to be had here. I do feel like they're going to take care of you sexually because we, oh, we pulled, that was too many. We pulled two of cups, which is like a good partnership and very, 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 very give and take. So he's very involved. He's going to make sure you get off or she will make sure that you get off, but it's, it just comes with so many strings attached. And for some people, okay, I'm going to take the, the couple that fell in my lap. For some people, they love that. And that's very comforting to them to feel like, oh, I'm his or, oh, I'm hers. And they're not going to let anybody fuck with me. Some people love that. And some people find that to be very comforting. But some people don't. And I think that you need to know about it. Okay, so I dead ass just pulled three of swords, which is heartbreak. And in this deck specifically, it's about having the courage to leave a relationship that's empty. And I pulled strings. <laughs> so uh, you've heard what I had to say. If you clicked on this group about, you know, if you're if you're talking to someone and you were wondering where it's going to go and what sex would be like, if you cannot handle the intensity of this person, get out now find the strength. I know you really like them, but, and I don't know, ask spirit to guide you because at the end of the day, I'm not licensed. I am simply a tarot reader, which can be very, 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 very beneficial sometimes, but do your own soul work, use your own free will, think about it. But if you, <laughs> this is who this person is. So if you're not into that, run away. You know, just don't get in any further because you're going to awaken the beast. Now, if you are a very demure lady who enjoys the security of a strong authoritarian man, then I think you'll be happy. And I think that this person is not provoked until they're provoked, if that makes sense. But be careful because if he is provoked, I do think that you are the person he's going to take it out on. So weigh those pros and cons. I don't know, this was just supposed to be about sex. Not a whole lot came out about a sex life, except for that he is an involved lover. But I think that this is, you know, just a message from spirit to some of you guys who are dealing with this person. Just figure out what's best for you. You know what I mean? Um, that is all that I have. If this did not resonate with you at all. Oh, and really quick, if you are a man and we're talking about a woman and that's who you asked about, a very like, um, nagging motherly figure you know some dudes need that some dudes need to you know have a mommy too so yeah if you need that great you found your person if you don't run like hell that is all if this did not resonate with you at all please feel free to pick another number but as always thank you so much for stopping by and it's a pleasure to read your card number six what would sex with them be like we have king of wands five of cups ten of wands and yin yang, why did I put that G on there? Yin yang lover. Well, um, I don't even know where to start here. Okay, this person is all about that penetration. <laughs> so, uh, that can be a very good thing. Well, I think it is because I think that they use their tool in a very respectful manner. I don't think they're like the jackhammer type or that could be exactly what this means. They are exactly the jackhammer type. Maybe it'll come out in a second. I don't think so though. This card is all about just penetration. That is just the interpretation of this card, penetration. This one is all about embracing closely. Like they wanna be close to you. They want it deep and passionate. This person does not have shallow sex in any sense of the word. However, something weird came out. We have five of chalices, which is about guilt. Um, and this ain't no love reading. So, and you know what? I think it's more about, they carry shame about something. And I feel like that makes them have sex in a way that they feel like they should have sex. Maybe that's why, I don't know, it's almost like they're ashamed or feel guilty about something animalistic within themselves. And so they try really hard to be super slow and calm and loving and gentle because I think if they let the beast out of the cage, 
they're scared they're gonna hurt somebody um and it's it's like they struggle with it but but they found a balance um and again we have this yin yang lover card here which says a couple different things i think it says that they found the balance within themselves but it's a struggle but also they they give you what you give them and i think because they hold all of this guilt and shame within how they think that they're supposed to make love that they wait for your lead so while they are very involved and very close that's i think why they want to keep you close because they're waiting for you they're waiting to pick up on what you're doing so they can give that back to you and I feel like this person was maybe raised with a lot of like strange beliefs about sex like that it's dirty or shameful um which is very 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 common in America and it does a lot of harm to our society um but that's another talk for another day <laughs> so yeah um that's about all that wanted to come out. I think it's as simple as that. They just, they, they just wait for your, for you. And so they, they need to be close to you and they need to have it deep because they pick up on the subtle movements and mannerisms and they kiss you the way you're kissing them. They mirror everything that you do and they give you back perfectly what you're doing. Um, and, and I feel like they've gotten really good at, at making the person that they're with think that they are actually the one in control. It's almost like they're a bottom from the top. No way, a top from the bottom. <laughs> no way, a bottom from the top. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, <laughs> point is that, that is all I have really. Uh, uh, side note, all of this sex is taking place outside. So I feel like they're either an earth sign or they like it outside. They just like to drop trowel and go to town. <laughs> That's all I have. If this did not resonate with you at all, please feel free to pick another number. Uh, as always, it was a pleasure to read your cards and thank you so much for stopping by. Please join me number in the six. One. Lots and lots of cards came out for this one. We have Ace of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, Pentacles, what the fuck was that? Queen of Pentacles, I'm country. Two, what? Yeah, two of Pentacles. Seven of, oh, he looks like he's up to something. All right, Seven of Wands, The Choice, and Dumps of the Planets. There are two types of people in this world. Actually, there's many types of people in this world, but for this specific thing I'm about to talk about, there's two types of people. There are people who want to tear down your walls because they want to further destroy you and be disgusting about it. And there are people who tear down your walls because they genuinely want to help rebuild you into a more secure and safe person. And that, my friends, is what you found in this man or woman. Um, because... <sighs> This person intentionally seeks out people who are damaged and, well, I don't want to say damaged, but like hurt and who have a lot of walls because they know that they can help heal them. This person is a fixer. I thought he was up to something shady and he is because he doesn't want the woman knowing that that's what he's doing because he thinks that when she catches on to him, she's going to close up her walls again. So he's going to be all up in your ear whispering things that you want to hear saying all good things and to a certain degree it's a bit selfish because he gets off on it he gets off on being able to tear down the walls and then help you become a more secure and safe feeling person and i think that that's why he seemed like he was up to something because he he knows you well enough or thinks he does he knows his type well enough to know that he can't just come barreling in hot and being like i'm here to tear down your walls let's fuck so <laughs> i went hard for that but he knows that his little queen of swords which is his type through and through is can't be bothered she plays coy he's down here knowing what she's up to he sees right through her and he's just waiting admiring her to the point where he's willing to be very vulnerable.
Um, and really the, the feeling of, um, being involved, you got to get over that. And he knows that she is. So he's patient with her and he kind of like, he takes his time and he does all the right things. He whispers in her ear. He tells her everything's going to be okay. Um, he gets off on watching their person make the right choices for themselves through a sexual relationship with them. It's very weird. Willing to bet they have something going on psychologically. But it's not the worst problem to develop when you have a problem, I guess. Because <laughs> oh, it's like the intentions are selfish, but they're still good. For whatever reason, maybe it just makes themselves feel better. Like maybe this person was hurt and had someone do this for them. And so now it's their life's mission. I don't know. But they use sex as a way to tear down walls and then make the other person feel good. We also have Dance of the Planets, which is just all about this perfect... It's just like everything is very, very calculated. Which... God, that's so strange to explain because while it is calculated, it's also real. Because this person doesn't seek out anybody to do this to. This person seeks out someone that they want to see change and that they do enjoy spending time with. So it's calculated, but it's real. Oh, that's so strange. Mm. Oh, we also have Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is all about this perfect union. So... For some of you that have clicked on this group, and this isn't a love reading, so if you are asking about this specific person and you want to know more about love, then definitely check out a love reading because this is mostly about sex, but I do see it leading to a union. Now, here's what I'm interested in. What happens after he tears down your walls and builds them up? That's what I would go seek a love reading out for because you want to know there's nothing in and of itself bad about what this person is doing. My concern would be once they build you up, are they then bored and they're like, oh, my job here is done and then move on to someone else and do the same thing to them because that could lead to its own kind of heartbreak. Uh, I've met a person like this in my life and if it wasn't for this person, I don't know who I would be or where I would be because when they got a hold of me, I was damaged like damaged beyond belief and they came in swooped in completely built me back up only to leave and it broke my heart but still yeah I was a stronger person and I don't think without this person automatically swooping in that I would be who I am today so think about that but also think is that heartbreak worth the risk it could be. For me personally, it was, and I am forever grateful for what this person did to and for me because I still don't think that they understand the impact, but that is who this person is. I've met one of these people, so <laughs> it can be selfish and it can be self-serving, but it can also really and honestly, truly help and heal people. Quick little side note from editing Candace here, because as I was editing that, I was thinking about the person and you know what? When he left me and he was done, he found another very damaged girl and did the same exact thing, but he had a baby and married her. So, <laughs> hey, if you guys are watching this, don't mean to make it awkward, uh, but just think about that because it, they, they did leave me, but then they went and did the same thing and wound up marrying the person. So, mm, I would do a love reading if you're wanting to know like more about where things are going to go if that is why you're watching the video if not then you have your answer but if you're if you're looking for a little bit more read a love reading or <laughs> watch a love reading but it could be that you know they get with somebody and they kind of leave it up to them when the relationship is over or they get you to the point where you're built back up and they let it ride out so do a little bit more digging and see what comes next if if that's a question that you have. If you don't have the question and you are just looking for a rebound to have sex with for some attention after a heartbreak, if this is your guy or girl, um, there's just, you know, think about a couple of things. But overall, they use sex to build you up. They're going to be very, very charming and sweet and loving. And they're going to be very complimentary of your, did I say that right? Whatever. Complimentary of your body and they're probably going to tell you like <laughs> that you're the best they've ever had regardless of if that's true because to them in the moment you are 
So yeah, that's all that I have. If this did not resonate with you at all, please feel free to pick another number. But as always, it was a pleasure to read your cards and thank you so much for joining me.